Hey, hey, Ron here. Welcome to another video. Today, we're looking at DJI's newest drone, the Air 2S. Cue the intro. So we're out here at uh, Riverbends Park, and uh, I'm out here with my friend John. Say hi, John. Hi, John. And uh, we're going to be comparing the new DJI uh, Air 2S to John's lovely, and uh, I, I, this is the standard for professionals. This is the Mavic Pro 2. So before we fly, John, do you have any like expectations? I, this realistically is a higher price tag, yours is. So most of the things should outclass this drone, but there's a lot of bells and whistles on this drone. What, do you, what, what, what should we look for today between these two drones? Well, apparently you can tell just, just by size. So, uh, so for one, uh, myself as a photographer video, guy maybe first or drone first i always look for the quality of the imagery of the camera system so that's, I, that's job one the camera footage the camera system the camera footage so i had went from uh a mavic air uh and then into the pro 2 because of the the one inch has you know uh sensor uh, sensor and the features of this drone but the footprint was much larger than the mavic air and i like to fly indoors and run i right. know sometimes you have uh but as you can tell they took the Mavic Air frame, the footprint, which is considerably smaller than this, uh, you know, apples to apples there, and they added now a one-inch sensor on a small airframe. So in my mind, apples to apples, uh, we found ourselves uh, a good hard cider here. We all know the specs of the of the Pro 2. They've, that's been out for almost a, a year or two years. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this one, this has a 5.4K uh, sense of uh, video quality. Right. It can shoot 5.4K. 20 megapixels for photographs. The obstacle sensing and avoidance. I love the two new obstacle sensors on the top of this drone. It almost, what did you call it? Said it looks like a Corvette? Oh, it looks like a Porsche. A That's Porsche. Yeah, yeah, Porsche 911. But today, what we're gonna do is, is, like you said, we're gonna look at the footage. Right. Is the footage comparable? Can we upgrade or go to this one over that? So we're gonna test out the, uh, these two cameras and compare the footage and we're gonna do, we might do a couple smart uh, flight modes and we're gonna race these two and see uh, which which one is the fastest. It, it, theoretically, I should be because I'm lighter. We'll see. So without further ado, let's take these things up and see, see what they look like comparatively. addition to the 5.4K video, the 20 megapixels for photographs, obstacle sensitive avoidance, the flight modes, the, the master shots. Um, another thing I like about this drone is this new, uh, what is it called, the ADSB air sense, which lets you know if there's a helicopter or a fixed wing aircraft in the air nearby so that you can adjust your flight accordingly and stay out of danger. And I had, love that. We had lifetime, uh, a real life uh, scenario today that happened. You know, today me and Ron are flying 
and there was a low-level aircraft uh, and our ear sensors of course heard it but before even visually uh, the new Air S2 uh, remote uh, system, on the fly more app, on the fly more app on, on the fly more app was able to indicate uh, for Ron you know the pilot in control that there was something close by whereas I could hear it and was taking avoidant action however my remote control didn't aware uh, alert me first so that that's an awesome safety feature which is drone safety features uh, it gets better and better but better. essentially if you're like you and I at the end of the day it's all about what does the footage look like so now that we brought those in the air we've flown uh, we've both flown the 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 air 2s and we've both flown uh, we've both flown the Mavic Pro 2 um, this was your first time flying this what were your thoughts about uh, flying this it handles unbelievably well now, I, I've come originally from uh, well spark and then uh, the Mavic Air and then now into the Pro 2 so getting my hands back on the small airframe uh, I I missed the 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 quickness, the precision, the the ability to take it right to the limit and then know that the drone is going to stop when I say it, or it's going to make the corrective action as I need it right then. Uh, now, in a cinematic shot, it does have different modes on the uh, remote control uh, that helps smooth out the footage. But again, that small airframe, it just seems more of like a, of, of a lack of a better word, like an agile go kart. And you know what? I think DJI, as time goes by, they just get better with 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 how the drone performs. It just becomes more. I mean, it just it doesn't do anything until you tell it to do it, and then it does it. Another thing that I really love about this Air 2S and uh, the Flymore app, uh, and I'm not sure if it's on other drones. It's the first time I've had access to it. Was uh, using the in 1080. You can't use it in 4K, um, and you can't use it in D log. But if you're shooting in 1080. Um, you can hit the function button and then toggle right to left and you can zoom in and out almost like a DSLR camera. And uh, I, I showed that to you and I told you that you were going to get a reaction. That's a pretty cool feature to have on a drone. Well, let me give you my testimony about that first reaction I have. And it is an awesome feature on a drone uh, specifically. And I hadn't said this because if you're in the air and you're trying to get your shot and then yet you want to frame your shot in, you don't want to necessarily fly your drone back down to make sure that you have it. And you can now with that feature zoom in to make sure you have the keyframe which you want and then zoom it back out and then go ahead with your shot. So it just it gives you more options. Absolutely. Uh, my aerial media Mondays might look a little different moving forward. There we go. If you didn't have the Mavic Pro 2, would you buy this instead? Yes. You recommend this drone? Yes. I recommend this drone to date, but there's still more tests to be done. Uh, and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to take this Air 2S out for more test drives, if you will. And we're going to put, uh, we're going to continue to put this drone through its paces. So again, I want to thank John for joining me today. I want to thank you for watching. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit that like icon, share it with all your friends. Also check out my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so you're notified when I make future videos. And if you want to buy uh, one of these drones at this Air 2S or any DJI product, please do so in the affiliate link below that helps me out uh, a tremendous and you'll get a great deal on a drone so again uh, as always if you want to see more of my videos go to ronrobinsonstudios.com you can also hear my podcast there as well so until next time